let's take a look at how to use goal seek to find some results that we're looking for. Suppose I want to find the NPV equal to 500 million based on a certain discount rate. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is use the goal seek function. I'm going to press Alt A W and G for goal seek. So what I want to do is set this value, set the value of the NPV equal to 500 by changing the discount rate and press OK. I can see here that the discount rate is 25% to get to a 500 million NPV. I'm going to press cancel and type that answer in this cell here. So now what I've done is I've just essentially taken a note of what the discount rate has to be to get a $500 million NPV. All right, let's do another example. Suppose that I want 2020 net income to be 10 million. And I want to get there by changing the 2020 revenue. So how much revenue do we need in 2020 to get 10 million of net income? I'm going to press Alt, A, W, and G for goal seek. So what I want to do is change this number here, the net income in 20, pardon me, the net income in 2020 to be 10 million by changing this target case revenue is the one that's currently running in our model. So I need to change that cell. And I see that the target revenue is 122.7 million. I'm going to press cancel and type here 122.700. So that's the revenue that's required to get there. So this is how I can summarize some important information down here using Goal Seek. And just a little bit of housekeeping here, I'm going to put a border, Alt HBP, to put a border across the top there. And here I'm going to say Goal Seek Analysis, in brackets, what if, and I'm just going to put a border over this section here, Alt HBP, and I can select these cells here press shift space bar and alt D G G to group those. So now everything rolls back up into a nicely organized spreadsheet.